I'm cutting the angle iron that's going to attach the floor joist to the bead. This chop saw is amazing. And yes, I know that usually you cut metal on the short end, but in this particular case with this type of chop saw, the manufacturer wants you to cut it like this. So I'm just doing it exactly like the manufacturer says. I realize that's very counterintuitive. Mike and I actually had an argument about it. I made him go look on their website and watch their video. And yep, you're supposed to cut it this way. My name is Allie, and if you haven't seen us before, we're building an arched cabin. It's a kit house made out of steel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Okay, I've cut 90 of these brackets. These are gonna attach our floor joist to the beads. Good morning, boys and girls. It is Thursday, November 5th, and our temperature is gonna drop in the next couple days down into the 30s and below. I don't see it coming back up. So I have to finish these guys today interrupt our welding and we figured the easiest way to clean these up and paint them was to put them across the beams so now that we've got the beams mostly welded on we still have to do the supports i'm just going to lay these out get them cleaned up today as you can see i've already done the ridge beam and the two side beams i did film them but i lost the footage i apologize for that but these took me six hours to do these three the other ones should be easier because they're flat but I didn't want to take any chances, so today is the day. It's going to be warm tomorrow, and I can finish them up if I don't get them done today, but my goal is to get them all done today. welded to the beam. It's welded. Well, let's go through to the joist. Okay. So I did a quick little cleanup of the brackets on the grinder and then I had to drill two holes in one side of each bracket as one side would be welded to the beams and the other side would be lag bolted to the floor joist. Okay guys, it's welding day again and it's been probably just over a week since the last time we were up here welding. We had some cold weather and some snow, but today it's my turn to weld. I made 90 brackets out of angle iron and I'm going to weld them here. That's how we're going to secure the floor joist to the beams. I believe in the plans they call for brackets to be 32 inches on center, but we're going a little off script and doing it 16 inches on center. They have it set up so that the blocking between the floor joists is what's going to tie the floor joists together. 
but Mike and I aren't super comfortable with that and overkill is just right over here. So we're going to actually weld the brackets on every 16 inches on center. Mike did all the structural stuff. I actually haven't welded in a couple months. So we're gonna start off. I'm gonna grab the scrap pieces from welding these on and I'm gonna practice on that because I've also never welded with flux core wire. After we get the floor joists up, we have to get that inspected and then we can put on our subfloor. On top of the subfloor goes the house. We are four steps away from getting this house kit up. I have never set the settings myself, so today I'm gonna learn. This is 3 16 I know I'm using 030 wire. Steel with flux core. I'm using 230 volts, 030 wire, and I know you can't see this chart. My metal thickness is 3 16 so five and 45 are my settings to start out with. 45 would be my wire speed here. So my voltage would be up to five. I'm going to try that on this. I may end up moving my settings around to pay, based on how I like it. That ain't going so good. Turn down the four. I think my wire speed might be a little fast. Mike helped me troubleshoot a little bit and talk to me a little bit about my ground. Okay, that was better than the last one. Let's see if we can do better. I'm going to try an upright. Whoa! We did a test fit for the floor joist just to see where the bracket should end up and then Mike went around and marked all that for me. I have some balance issues, so standing on a ladder while welding is not one of those things that I think I'm very capable of, so I let Mike do the stuff on the ladder. And now, my welding montage. take a break because I've got a pretty wicked headache already so and I've only welded three things get kind of head in the game because I have like zero confidence on this today but by the end of the day I should be better than when I started and that's really the goal is to be better than when you started <laughs> we're losing light so we're gonna call it a day and I'll come down in the morning and do it it is day two for me to weld these brackets on, so I better get welding.
One thing I do know is that I have contrast issues while welding. If something is not lit well or if I'm backlit, I can't see what I'm doing. After the first day of welding, a friend of mine suggested that I try a hood because maybe I was getting lit up from the back by the sun and that's why I couldn't see. So we tried it. It works so well that I gave him my welding jacket, which had gotten thoroughly thrashed during the previous bit of welding and we cut the sleeve off and use that as a little hood. I was still struggling to get any consistency, so I had Mike do the middle beam just to get things done quickly. He was doing the ones on the ladder anyway since I couldn't, and he was going so fast it just made sense. last day I was just having a really rough day. I had a lot of pain the night before and it actually woke me up from a dead sleep so I didn't get much sleep. I couldn't get my pain under control. I was having a hard time with the welding. <music> I even managed to burn the crap out of my hand just taking my glove off. And the grinder kept spitting wires at my face. I finally had Mike take over the welding and just weld the plates on because that was something we needed to do anyway. And I took a moment to just get my head together. I made sure to take some time to really watch what he was doing so I could see if I could figure out what I was doing wrong. It helped a lot. I also had him weld on one of the brackets while I watched and then had him watch me and give me some pointers. It helped a lot to get a little feedback and to be able to watch him and figure out what the pace should be and get a general idea of what I should be doing.
We finish off the day with Mike welding the last of the plates onto the beams, but we got sidetracked from showing off our final product due to a fire in the neighborhood. Thankfully, they were able to get it under control very quickly, so we never had to evacuate. Our pre-evacuation notice was canceled a couple of hours after the fire started. It was still too close for comfort. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Now get out there and do the thing. I know you can.